All right, this is going to be a little video on this um, Insta360 Go. I've got it strapped on to a bracket on my Tiny Hawk Freestyle FPV drone. Uh, you probably have watched other videos on this already. There's two ways that you can make this thing behave. One is there's a button on the back. You can set it up for what they call quick capture, where you push the button once, it'll, it'll take a quick photo or a quick video clip of 15 seconds, 30 seconds, or one minute, and then shut off. The option to get to the FPV five minute option is to actually have to turn the unit on, which means you hold the on button for a longer period of time. It'll double vibrate saying, okay, I'm awake, I'm on. And then you can have it programmed. So if you hit the button once, it'll do uh, the video portion. There's also ways you can hit it twice do something else, hit it a third time, do something else. I've set it up so if I just hit it either once, twice, or three times, it's all still going to do the five minute FPV video, which I think is one way to stop the, some of the confusion that can happen with this device because <clears throat> all there is is that single button, a little vibration feedback, a little blinking light, I'm trying to keep it all straight, not always very easy. So I have it set up here, so I'm going to go take a five minute flight. And then we'll process the video coming off of this after that. All right, pretty calm morning. Take a quick flight and we'll look at the uh, footage. The first thing you're going to want to do is download this program called Insta360 Studio 2020. That'll allow you to import the files from the a Go device itself and convert that over to a, an MPEG format for outputting. The next thing you're going to want to do is to connect up your Go device to the little pod and uh, connect it up to your computer and download the uh, Insta360 file from it just like you would a file from your camera. Next you, dra next you drag over the file and drop it into the window here and it'll show you this editing window here where you can trim down your particular file to use for outputting. Before you do the outputting, you review what the uh, file looks like with this, this flow state, stabilization on or off and then select the aspect ratio that you want to use for the exporting process. Now to do the export you hit this file export and then under here you have the resolution this is the HD default setting and also the default setting bitrate is 32 megabits per second. Uh, you can also select removing the grain and then adding this uh, color plus which is a higher level of saturation to see how that would look like. So I'll do an export at 32 megabits per second. Then I'll also do one at the higher level at 200 megabits per second and show you what the difference are between those two files when you combine those with the rest of your video. All right, pretty calm morning. Let's take a quick flight and we'll look at the uh, footage.
pretty calm morning. Take a quick flight and we'll look at the uh, footage.